The National Brotherhood of Fathers Rights welcomes you to an enlightening presentation for fathers in trying situations. Join us for a private audience discussion with Mr. Dennis Gack, founder of the National Brotherhood of Fathers Rights, and questions by Mike Hill, an NBFR associate. On this audio companion CD, Dennis will give you insights into a wide variety of fathers' rights cases. Mr. Gack has authored the nine books in the complete father's rights protection system that you've received. He has an extensive legal background with 20 plus years in family law and specifically in father's rights cases. He's a source of knowledge that even practicing attorneys turn to for insight and valuable information. This audio companion CD provides legal information and our information is not to take the place of individual legal advice as obtained by an attorney. This CD is a fast-track primer, giving you a quick review of many common father's rights issues. Let's listen in now. Um, the last area here that I, I want to uh, get into before we go into some questions uh, is uh, attorney's fees and costs. Uh, a lot of guys are, are hit with the opposing side attorney's fees. The courts basically operate on the deep theory, deep pocket theory of law is what I call it. You know, basically who, whoever, whomever is most able to pay usually gets hit with the cost as long as you're the dad. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's basically been my experience. Uh, women rarely, if ever, get hit with attorney's fees. Uh, they, they do, but they have to be pretty outrageous, have, have caused a lot of litiga unnecessary litigation. Um, if you're making more than the women, which is usually the case, uh, you, you know, they'll ask for attorney's fees all the time and very often can be hit with fees. One way to, pre uh, to prevent this from happening is to be very prepared, be very respectful of their process, the court process, always look reasonable and ready to settle. Uh, I would create a very well-documented paper trail of, of uh, making offers to mom to settle, making offers to mediate, offers to arbitrate, offers to keep things out of court. Uh, whatever you can do to be reasonable. The more that you can do that, now I'm not saying roll over and give her whatever she wants. I'm just saying try to appear to be reasonable, send her documentation to create a paper trail. If the judge sees that, if you're in court, you've got a diary or a paper trail to demonstrate your cooperation, uh, you're basically going to demonstrate to the court that she's uncooperative or what we call intransigent and you show your history of trying to be cooperative. The judge is going to take that into consideration when he when he issues fees. His attitude is going to be like, "Look, you know, this guy's tried to be tried has tried to be very reasonable. He's tried to settle. He's tried to keep this matter out of court. He has a well documented series of letters from doing that. Why are you here, woman? You know, you're here because you want to litigate and get all you can. So the likelihood there of her getting attorneys' fees and costs is reduced substantially. Can it still happen? Yeah. I mean, but but you've reduced your uh, your fees.